coming to the eighth bit, the given equations are 1 by 3x plus y plus 1 by 3x minus y is equal to 3 by 4 and 1 by 2 times of 3x plus y minus 1 by 2 times of 3x minus y is equal to minus 1 by 8. So let us assume 1 by 3x plus y is equal to a and 1 by 3x minus y is equal to b. So this equation changes as a plus b is equal to 3 by 4. Assume this equation as first equation and this equation changes as 1 by 2 times of a minus 1 by 2 times of b is equal to minus 1 by 8. So this equation can be written as a minus b is equal to minus 2 divided by 8 which gives a minus b is equal to minus 1 by 4. So assume this as second equation. Now adding equations 1 and 2 we get equation 1 plus equation 2 gives a plus b plus a minus b is equal to 3 by 4 minus 1 by 4. Now we get a plus a is 2a plus b and minus b will be cancelled and 3 by 4 minus 1 by 4 is nothing but 2 by 4 which is nothing but 1 by 2. So we got 2a is equal to 1 by 2 which implies a is equal to 1 by 4. So in order to find out the value of b let us substitute a is equal to 1 by 4 in equation number 1 we get in place of a let us write 1 by 4 plus b is equal to 3 by 4. This implies b is equal to 3 by 4 minus 1 by 4. 3 by 4 minus 1 by 4 is nothing but 2 by 4. So we get b is equal to 1 by 2. So we found out the values of a as 1 by 4 and b as 1 by 2. In the beginning we have assumed that 1 by 3x plus y is a and 1 by 3x minus y is equal to b. So now in place of a let us write 1 by 4 and in place of b let us write 1 by 2. So this equation changes as 1 by 3x plus y is equal to 1 by 4 and 1 by 3x minus y is equal to 1 by 2. On cross multiplication we get 3x plus y is equal to 4 and 3x minus y is equal to 2. Name this equation as third equation and this equation as fourth equation. Now adding equations 3 and 4 that is third equation plus fourth equation we get 3x plus y plus 3x minus y is equal to 4 plus 2. 3x plus 3x gives 6x and plus y and minus y will be cancelled and on the right hand side we will be getting 4 plus 2 which is 6. This implies x is equal to 6 divided by 6 which is nothing but 1. So we got the value of x as 1. Substitute the value of x which is 1 in equation 3. We get 3x means 3 times of 1 plus y is equal to 4. This implies 3 plus y is equal to 4 which gives y is equal to 4 minus 3 which is 1. So we got the value of y as 1. Hence the required solutions for the given set of linear equations are x is equal to 1 and y is equal to Coming to the second problem, formulate the following problems as a pair of equations and hence find their solution. The first bit given is, Ritu can row downstream 20 km in 2 hours and upstream 4 km in 2 hours. Find her speed of rowing in still water and the speed of the current. So let us work out the problem. 
In this problem, we need to find the speed of the rowing in still water and speed of the current. So let speed of rowing in still water is equal to x kilometer per hour and speed of the current is equal to y kilometer per hour. Now, Ritu takes 2 hours for downstream of 20 kilometers. That is, downstream is nothing but both the direction of Ritu and direction of current are same. So, we can say that speed of Ritu during downstream is equal to speed of the rowing in still water plus speed of the current which is equal to x plus y kilometer per hour. Now when she is uh, rowing upstream the speed would become that is speed of Ritu during upstream is equal to speed of the rowing in still water minus speed of the current which is nothing but x minus y kilometer per hour. We know that speed is equal to distance divided by time. So for the downstream case the speed is equal to x plus y and the distance travelled in downstream is 20 kilometers and the time taken is 2 hours which implies x plus y is equal to 20 divided by 2 is 10. So assume this as equation number 1. In this upstream case the speed is x minus y and the distance travelled is 4 kilometers and the time taken is 2 hours. So this equation becomes x minus y is equal to 4 divided by 2 is 2. So assume this as second equation. Now equation 1 plus equation 2 implies x plus y plus x minus y is equal to 10 plus 2. So plus y and minus y will be cancelled. x plus x is 2x. This is equal to 12 which implies x is equal to 12 divided by 2. So we will be getting x is equal to 6. So we found out the value of x which is 6. Now substitute the value of x in the first equation. We will get 6 plus y is equal to 10. That implies y is equal to 10 minus 6. Therefore, the value of y is equal to 4. We know that x is nothing but the speed of rowing in still water. So therefore, speed of rowing in still water is equal to Six kilometer per hour, and speed of the current that is y is equal to four kilometer per hour. Coming to the third bit, Ruhi travels three hundred kilometers to her home, partly by train and partly by bus. She takes 4 hours if she travels 60 km by train and remaining by bus. If she travels 100 km by train and remaining by bus, she takes 10 minutes longer. Find the speed of the train and bus separately. So let us work out the problem. In this problem, we need to find the speed of the train and the speed of the bus. So the speed of the train is equal to x kilometer per hour and 
the speed of the bus is equal to y kilometer per hour according to the first condition she takes 4 hours if she travels 60 km by train and the remaining by bus so the time taken for travelling in train is equal to distance by speed so the distance is 60 kilometers and the speed is x kilometer per hour so we get 60 by x hours and the time taken for traveling in bus is equal to distance which is nothing but the remaining distance that is 300 minus 60 kilometers divided by speed which is nothing but y kilometer per hour so we get 300 minus 60 is equal to 240 divided by y hours according to the given problem the total time taken is 4 hours so we can write 60 by x plus 240 divided by y is equal to 4 hours so let this be equation number 1 now applying the second condition which is nothing but if she travels 100 kilometers by train and remaining by bus she would take 10 minutes longer so in the second case time taken for train is equal to hundred which is nothing but the distance traveled by the speed which is nothing but x so the time taken for the train is equal to hundred by x hours and the time taken for traveling in bus is equal to the remaining distance 300 minus 100 divided by y 300 minus 100 is nothing but 200 by y hours so the total time is nothing but first initially she she has taken 4 hours to travel and in the second case she requires more 10 minutes so we can write the time taken is 4 hours plus 10 minutes which is nothing but 4 hours 1 minute is nothing but 1 by 60 of hour so this is equal to 4 plus 10 goes 6 times in 60 so this is 4 plus 1 by 6 which is nothing but 25 by 6 hours now we can write 100 by x plus 200 by y is equal to the time taken which is 25 by 6 hours so let this be equation number 2 and the equation 1 is 60 divided by x plus 240 divided by y is equal to 4 hours this is equation number 1 in order to find the values of x and y let us assume 1 by x is equal to a and 1 by y is equal to b now the second equation changes as 100a plus 200b is equal to 25 by 6 let this be third equation and the first equation changes as 60a plus 240b is equal to 4 let this be equation number 4 from the third equation we can take 25 as common so we get 25 times of 4a plus 8b is equal to 25 times of 1 by 6 so 25 and 25 will be cancelled on both sides we get 
फोर ए प्लस एट बी इज इक्वल टू वन बाय सिक्स लेट दिस बी इक्वेशन नंबर फाइव फ्रॉम द फोर्थ इक्वेशन वी कैन टेक फोर एज कॉमन सो वी गेट फोर टाइम्स ऑफ फिफ्टीन ए प्लस सिक्सटी बी इज इक्वल टू फोर सो फोर एंड फोर कैन बी कैंसल विल बी गेटिंग फिफ्टीन ए प्लस सिक्सटी बी इज इक्वल टू वन सो लेट दिस बी इक्वेशन नंबर सिक्स सो नाउ वी नीड टू सॉल्व द इक्वेशन फाइव एंड सिक्स इन ऑर्डर टू गेट द वैल्यूज ऑफ ए एंड बी सो द फिफ्थ इक्वेशन कैन बी रिटर्न एज फोर ए इज इक्वल टू वन बाई सिक्स माइनस एट बी एंड ए इज इक्वल टू वन बाई फोर टाइम्स ऑफ वन बाय सिक्स माइनस एट बी सो ए कैन बी रिटर्न एज वन बाय फोर टाइम्स ऑफ वन माइनस सिक्स एट्स फोर्टी एट बी डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स विच इज नथिंग बट वन माइनस फोर्टी एट बी डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेंटी फोर Now let us substitute the value of a in equation number six. So this becomes fifteen times of one minus forty-eight b divided by twenty-four plus sixty b is equal to one. Now three fives fifteen and three eights twenty-four. So this becomes five times of one minus forty-eight b divided by eight plus sixty b is equal to Now, five multiplied by one minus forty-eight b is five minus two hundred and forty b plus eight times of sixty b divided by eight is equal to one. This implies five minus two forty b plus four eighty b by eight is equal to one. So now we get. Five plus two forty b is equal to eight. We can write two forty b is equal to eight minus five is nothing but three. That gives b is equal to three by two hundred and forty, which is nothing but one by eighty. So we got the value of b as one by eighty. Now let us substitute the value of b in this equation. Now we get a is equal to one minus forty-eight times of one by eighty divided by twenty-four. So we can write this as one by twenty-four times of one minus four twelves forty-eight and four twenties. Four threes twelve and four fives twenty. So this is three by five. So a is equal to one by twenty four times of five minus three by five, which is nothing but one by twenty four times of two by five. So two goes twelve in twenty four. So we get a is equal to one by sixty. We have found the value of a as one by sixty and the value of b as one by eighty. In the beginning, we assumed that one by x is equal to a and one by y is equal to b. On equating them, we get x is equal to sixty and y is equal to eighty. X is nothing but the speed of the train and y is nothing but speed of the bus. Therefore, the speed of the train is equal to Sixty kilometer per hour, and speed of bus is equal to eighty kilometer per hour. 